Wow. Okay, now it's jumping even more. A Bed Bath & Beyond getting a boost in more ways than one. Investors and Reddit rebels cheering on the embattled home goods chain. Going into the break, it was up 16%. It is now up 18 and a quarter percent. This after the Wall Street Journal reports the retailer has secured a loan deal to shore up its liquidity and pay down debt. According to the journal, the retailer's loan search led by J.P. Morgan Light on specifics at the moment. Transaction and the details of it not yet disclosed, but this comes as Bed Bath & Beyond shareholders have endured a wild ride in August. Look at this chart, surging nearly 100% month to date. BBBY, a favorite with the retail investor crowd, having its best month since the start of 2021. You remember what happened then, right? When meme stock mania swamped Wall Street hedge funds by pushing heavily shorted stocks dramatically higher. Uh, the original memes, Game stock and a GameStop and AMC moving in opposite directions at the moment. AMC is down just a tick, about half a percent. Bed Bath & Beyond, as you see now, up 19 percent. Game stock down 2.7 percent. But joining us now on a Fox Business exclusive, let's get to the man who really started it all. He is the founder of the Wall Street Bets Reddit forum, Jamie Rogozinski. Jamie, for, what do you make of this in, incredible, albeit white-knuckled ride this month? And do you think it lasts? <laughs> Uh, certainly has been a very interesting month. I think that uh, a lot of the people that were out, a lot of the, the retail traders, the Wall Street bets crowd were out for the summer. I don't know, maybe there was a some old summer doldrums, but I think they're back and it's been a very exciting couple of days. And it seems like every single day something new is happening, including today. What do you think is driving them now? And when I say them, it's not just the apes, the so-called apes in their self-described way or the meme stock crowd. It's retail individual investors who have gotten more sophisticated, even as the SEC and some others say, oh, they don't know what they're doing. They're being lured into a big trap. You know, what's actually interesting about this is after GameStop took place, a lot of people would ask me what the next time or what the next stock is going to be. And my answer would usually say something along the lines of we're not getting another repeat of it because the market is smart. They're not going to allow for something like this to happen. All the participants, not even to deal with the regular regulators. And so it surprises me that what's driving this seems to be really similar to what happened last time. You have a high short float. You have a lot of enthusiasm about the stock. You have Ryan Cohen stepping in, uh, being its own version of the saga and giving it its Midas touch, at least for a while. And so you have pretty much the exact same thing replicating, well, you know, except for maybe the, uh, the, the novelty of it. You know, I'm glad you brought up Ryan Cohen. Uh, he went into the stock of Bed Bath & Beyond very motivated, uh, March. And then he entirely exited the stake just a few days ago. That enraged a lot of investors. My take on this is, hey, investors have free will and they can do whatever they want. And this decision, whatever it may be, sits for Ryan Cohen. But can you just give me your sense of what happened here? And is this something, say, for example, that needed investigating? I, I mean, I'm not going to tell the regulators what they need to investigate and whatnot. Mm -hmm. They know their job much better than I do. I do. But uh, I do agree with you in that every participant that's in the market isn't there to make money. It's not necessarily to try and look out for each other. Uh, so yeah. I do agree with you, right? If Ryan Cohen made some move, regardless of uh, uh, what the regulators might think, if he was able to make uh, a decent profit from it, then go him, right? This is the same thing the retail participants or traders are doing same thing the investment banks are doing anybody that's trading in the stock market wants to make money and if he succeeded in that then this is uh this is these are the rules of the game jamie fast forward i don't know two years from now is this whole window of time that people are calling the meme stock traders etc reddit rebels will this be a couple of pages in a history book like the tulip you know, the tulip mania back in the last many centuries ago? Or is this going to be something that continues and the entire world and markets and investor area grow from? I, yes, this is definitely not going to be a fad that blows over in a tulip mania. It's it's even more specific to to a particular asset that, that bubbles up and, and goes back down. Uh, the retail participants now realize that they can actually take control and, I, and, and they're here to stay. And sometimes that looks like Bed Bath & Beyond or GameStop and the stock goes up. 
Sometimes it's going to be a, a, a more sophisticated version of arbitrage as it was before uh, GameStop made Wall Street Bets famous. And so they're going to basically keep looking for inefficiencies and exploiting them so that they are able to profit. And then to further evidence that this is here to stay, I just noticed that the street has like a section called meme stocks, right? And you have <laughs> Goldman Sachs has a division for social media. You have like all these uh, sentiment bots that are going out there and reading it. And 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 so now the, the, the participants that go into the market now have made room for the retailers to sit down at the poker table Good. and actually play in the long term. Heck, why not? It's It's been a long time coming. My dad used to say, oh, those big guys on Wall Street, they know before we do. Not so much anymore. Jamie, good to see you. Thank you very much. Yes, thanks, thanks a lot for having me on. Come back again, Jamie Rogozinski.